what's the mistake here? I turned on my new RC car for the first time and it just took off on its own. What the heck? Ah! This is one of the oldest mistakes in the RC hobby, turning the vehicle on first. If the transmitter isn't already on, the car has no signals to receive and occasionally, they can just have a mind of their own. So that's why it's super critical to develop the basic habit of always turning the transmitter on first and making sure it's always the last thing to be turned off. Not double checking the hardware. Some of the screws underneath the chassis, things like the wheel nuts, it's a really great idea to double check those and make sure that they're tight and secure on the car before you go drive it for the first time. This is of course only applies to people who are buying ready to runs, but I'll tell you what, it's a huge bummer to go drive your ready to run for the first time and a wheel nut pops off that you then lose and have to go buy again. Not centering the steering is another big mistake we see where people will get a new ready to run and they won't center the front tires. It's super easy to do with the knob on the transmitter that says steering trim and you can just turn the dial to straighten out the tires. People who aren't doing this are having to counter the wheel a little bit to drive the car straight, which is wrong. You don't want to be doing that. Make sure the car goes straight without any inputs from the driver. Now that we know our steering is straight, we want to avoid the next mistake, which is taking our brand new car and just sending it. We don't want to do that. RC cars are like any other performance item. They have particular characteristics, like bicycles, surfboards, skateboards, dirt bikes, real cars. They all have their slight characteristics to them. So it's good to take your brand new RC car and just run some little tests with it to get comfortable. Accelerate, see how the car transfers the weight back. How well does it hook up? Do the same with braking. Observe the weight transfer and, and how the car behaves to that sudden stop. It's good to do the same with steering. Turn left, do some circles, do the same with going right. See how the vehicle turns differently to each way, how it transfers the weight, and just overall behaves. The better you are at identifying the characteristics of your car, the better suited you are to drive it. Now where to drive it? This is another big mistake because some of the funnest places to drive an RC car are also the most harmful places to drive an RC car. Places like in snow, in mud, in sand, and in water is really harmful to the car. Snow tends to collect and pack up and it's really heavy and it melts later into water. Sand tends to collect in little places and it becomes fine sandpaper wearing down some of your plastic parts, not to mention it's also heavy. Mud tends to cake up and dry into hard pieces and can cause a lot of friction with your suspension and your drivetrain. And it's overall pretty bad and also heavy. And water of course can cause corrosion, it can cause rust, it can cause all sorts of issues like removing the lubricant from your bearings, it's going to be your responsibility to clean your car after driving in these mucky locations if you choose to do so. Now to go along with those mucky environments, not sealing up the vent hole and the wheel is another big mistake we see people make when they do drive in water, snow, sand, and mud. With those vent holes on the inside of the wheel open, material like water, sand, any of that, it can get inside the wheel where it will collect and be heavy and weigh down the car. It's really hard on your electronics and if moisture gets inside that wheel, it'll break down the foam insert, ultimately ruining the tire over time if it doesn't dry out. So if you are gonna drive in the muck, don't make the mistake of leaving those wheel vent holes open and vulnerable to letting material in. Just put a piece of tape over it to cover them and you can remove that later on. Now we already touched on this briefly, but not cleaning the car off is a really big mistake to make with your new RC. This thing is an investment and it can last for years as long as you take care of it. So it's important to have a little arsenal of some rags to clean off the muck, water. We have some brushes that we use around here. Old toothbrushes work. Sometimes I'll use canned air to just blow off the dust of the car if it's just lightly dusted. You don't want to use an air compressor. That's a little bit too much, but just brushing off the car and keeping it clean is really important. It's even more critical if you get it muddy or wet. You're going to want to get all that moisture off so nothing rusts or corrodes and your car is still fresh for the next time you want to drive it. When your suspension, the steering, and the drivetrain move freely, your car will be really happy. 
Now the next mistake isn't necessarily about the car, but it's about people who use the included tools with their car rather than just going and buying some basic tools. The tools that come with RC cars are usually like a little L-shaped Allen wrench. There's sometimes some little nut drivers. There's some basic tools included that work okay up into a point. This really revolves around your tolerance to use these little tools because they're often pretty hard on your hands and you can't get as much leverage on them. So having some sort of quality tool set is going to help you out a lot and just make wrenching on your car so much better and more rewarding. To go along with some basic hex drivers for your car, you're probably going to want a nut driver for the wheels, maybe a car stand, and then uh, like a pit towel would be good to wrench on. Now when you are wrenching and you have a metal screw that's going into a metal piece, it would be a big mistake if you did not use blue thread locker. Blue thread lock should be used in RC cars whenever a metal screw is going into another metal piece. Thread locker is really critical with nitro cars, but they're also used with electric on metal to metal pieces. Use blue thread locker in those situations. Now the next thing is for batteries, or specifically LiPo batteries, because there is one mistake above them all that is really, really harmful for your LiPo batteries. For RC car batteries, your cell phone LiPo batteries, or maybe the LiPo in your Tesla, and that's to charge them to 100% power and then not use it. If that battery sits fully charged for an extended period of time, it's gonna experience degradation where the resistance in the battery goes up, the capacity starts going down, and your battery is half the battery it used to be. It's also important to keep your LiPo batteries just clean and dry if you happen to get them wet. And don't make the mistake of pulling the connectors apart by the wire. You wanna grab them by the plastic connector housing. Nitro cars. It's equally as damaging to leave fuel inside the fuel lines in the tank in the engine. You wanna get all that out. You can just fire up the engine and let it burn out and put a couple drops of after run oil in that engine. Now the last mistake I've got for you guys is something that's really hard to stop and I I'm guilty of doing it all the time. And that's to just avoid going overboard too early in your hobby. You gotta remember to pace yourself, man. I know, it's super exciting to get into the hobby. You're in love, there's all these new products. It's like learning a foreign language. There's just so much to know, to learn, to do, to experiment with. I just bought one RC car, I need four more. Yeah, it happens. So it's good to just kind of slow it down a little bit, take your time, get accustomed to the car, work on building your skills, and try not to do too much too soon. It's always important to save some excitement for tomorrow. So before you spend all your money on these accessories and upgrades and faster motors and more cars to manage, just keep in mind that your current car will have parts wear out and break. They'll need to be replaced so set some money aside so you can take care of that when it comes up. Guys, you can check out A-Main Hobbies and everything we talked about in this video with our links down below. And if you want more RC videos, check these out.